Hi everyone, this is Danny for Cupping Cakes Good Me. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna finish on um, Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. And I just want to say so like a big thank you for all of you. 500,000 people that watch my mini video. It makes me so happy, it makes me keep going, making more videos. So don't forget to subscribe to watch everything that's coming up. And I want to dedicate this video to Sue Harvey then left me a little comment and so this video is dedicated to you we're gonna finish how to make Khaleesi um the game of thrones little princess you know then we started last week and now it's totally dry i didn't do a voice over on the other video but tons of people ask me to explain as you can see yes my paper was um laminated and now it's dry so it comes completely off of the paper and with this you can make um I don't know like a detail on the cake a detail on the vase you can make so many things and it's a really easy way to copy a figurine when it's kind of like sometimes full of details and you don't feel comfortable so if you watch the part the part one of this video is going to really show you how to do so you can totally just draw um her face on the model but i'm showing you guys how to do it if you cannot draw for your life like this i could do it just make the marks where i needed to be but if i need to draw the whole thing i would not do that and so you can use like this clear transfer paper and then use a little carbon paper or like a, the black you know transfer paper to put under like i'm gonna show you guys but feel free to draw or just to mark what the eyes are gonna be and things like that because the rest we're gonna need to paint so i'm just showing you how you can do just put in place and then you put your transfer paper under and then basically you're just gonna go over the whole drawing again so that means then when you take this paper off you're gonna be able to see everything where it is you know the eyes the nose and the mouth doesn't matter you to do the whole thing because we're gonna cover the white so it's gonna disappear so we're gonna go in steps in layers so with the acrylic paint i'm gonna start making the eye part of the um the white part of our eyes just like that and if you're not really used to paint or things like that just let it dry one layer before you proceed with the other one or if you don't if you want to mix a little bit of the colors like i'm gonna do with the light blue don't wait but i will tell you um when i decided to do that to use as you know a different technique so now i'm gonna start with the blue i'm looking at my picture the same picture that we're using to trace to see exactly where the circle is gonna be if you still feel like oh my god i don't think i can do that if i'm not doing the the you know the right size and the right place it's gonna mess it up just do the same thing that we do with the turns of paper on the top of the white so you're gonna need you're gonna see perfectly where that you know the blue is gonna be so a lot of people are asking me why i was doing this why i'm doing a flat 3g not flat 3g nothing a flat um like like a flat model actually like i'm doing it is because this is gonna be on the side of the cake is that a fake cake so this for me is perfect i don't need to worry about is the really easy way to make her and after it's dry like now you can even do more layers make her hair bigger and puffier and things like that so with the i'm gonna let the blue dry a little bit and so with the dry kind of like really light white brush as you can see i always go first on my hands so i know how much ink uh, paint is going to be i'm just lined up the top part of the dragon like the bones of the wings and the body where the light we per like first touch so if you i need to make a video for you guys to show a little just a little bit of painting like some simple tricks then you can follow and give a little bit more life of your um projects so where the light goes is darker when it's like under something is a uh, it's gonna be darker i made a mistake when the light goes is brighter and when the shadow goes it's gonna be darker here we go so i'm letting everything kind of dry a little bit don't want to mess it up and as you can see i'm going with the white on my hand before i go over because i do not want this white to be flat white i want it kind of to be see through buff it out like a makeup kind of thing and that's what are we gonna do you can paint this as, as much detail as you want um i'm making a very simple way 
then it's gonna look super pretty and you can put it on the side of the cake. I'm making a little cake, a two tier, but I, I think at the top tier is a six inch um, fake cake. So it's very small, very little, and this is gonna be perfect. And then I will put the wings of the third um, dragon on it as well. I don't know if you guys wanna see fake cakes too. I know that has lots of um, YouTube channels that show you how to make real cakes, but fake cakes and real cakes are made exactly the same. It's just switching out the materials, you know, edible for not edible. So if you guys want to see how I make the little fake cakes, then um, I'm going to start selling it on my Etsy page and I do not mind to share with you guys. So just let me know. Um, so now you can see that I didn't wait for my white to dry because I just put that white to mix with the blue and make kind of like a gradient color. I want it to be like white to light blue and then blue if that makes any sense. So I'm not waiting for my blue to dry completely. I'm just mixing it, the white and the blue, so I can make this shade out on the metal. And now you can feel free to use this with a pen, to use just with chalk pastel, but I'm making lines on her dress, exactly like um, it's in the picture. I also gonna look for today on Pinterest to see who is the right, like who draw this, on the nurse because it wasn't me. I opened up um, a Pinterest and just put a kawaii um, Game of Thrones Khaleesi or princess queen, whatever, like I start moving around into I found this drawing and I fell in love because it's simple, but it's full of details and very cute. So I wanna really give, you know, the props to who draw. I will try to figure it out today and put a link below if she has any channel in YouTube or any Pinterest or Instagram channel, then I can let you guys see more of her princesses and maybe we decide to do a new one. And yes, for whoever, like everybody then send me a message on a DM on Instagram and a message here asking if I can make the first part of the video with the voice over with some other princess. Yes, I would do that for you guys so you can see how I prepare with a little bit more explanation, how I laminate, how I do all that. And now I'm just using the chalk pastel and white and all the top parts of everything to give a light on the hair, on the, you know, the middle part of the dress, like where I was putting the dark lines for the blue and the light lines so we give a little 3d and for the hair the same thing the top parts just to make look as 3d ish as we can and a flat piece you know a clay but that's what the cool things the magic happens when you mix a little color a little chalk a little shadow a little highlight and then you can give even more details for it and i'm making the same thing that i did with the other dragon in um, acrylic paint with the chalk pastel to show you guys then you can use that as well if you scare if you think the little brushes kind of scare you out you can totally do that as I'm showing you guys. And now I'm just gonna give a little detail on her dress, legs in the picture. I really don't watch Game of Thrones since the first high <laughs> season. I think my, my husband's making me watch everything because he's crazy about it. So I'm in the set first, I think the first one of the second season. So I'm not really sure how pretty and how detailed her dress is. I am just going based on that drawing Then I found it then. It's just a little, like, little polka dots, little traces just going kind of around. I'm just thinking about making kind of like a little flower, a little bunch together, and then just go over just to give a little detail. Don't forget also to tag me on Instagram at hashtag Cupping Cakes Gourmet. Um, you can see more details, more videos, more ideas for decorations, how I decorate it, um, how I use that carrot, <laughs> and then we made it, and I never show live. And if you guys want to see anything live again this week on my channel, please let me leave a comment below and we can do that. So with the white chalk, be careful, clean your eye chalk because if it touches other colors, can mess it up. I'm just going to go over what the light is hitting her nose and her cheekbones and her forehead to give a little bit more of the 3D um, impression to her face. So I made a mistake and you guys are gonna see that I mess it up a little bit and it's gonna be a little dark because my all my pieces of chalk are kinda in a 
in a box together. They're separate, but they are together, if that makes any sense, like uh, color pencils. So sometimes they move around, they touch each other, and my chalk has a little yellow on it. So I just cleaned one side, and then I messed it up as you can see. But that's okay, because I want the shadows on her face as well, but I just wanted to give as much as tips I can pass to you guys. I think I got more messages in Portuguese to make the part one of this video with the voice over to give some tips and tricks and how do I do that if you guys want as well please just leave me a comment in this video and I will do this for you see my white on the first layer is not as white as we want it to be so we go over let it dry a little bit go over and make it as white as you can because that's gonna make a difference when you put in a cake or in a vase and a detail like a cover book if you have somebody that loves green of thrones you can do that in a notebook cover you know just glue it there so you can have you can have this decorating anything and now with a very 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 thin brush i am a liner brush i am making her eyeliner so going around the whole eyes, this is a kawaii, a kawaii style, is that how I say? A kawaii style. Um, they are kind of like, they're drawing, you know, so they have a lot of detail that if you think in a realistic um, picture, you will not do it. My sense is that stuff is going to go all over her eyes with black. Go to my list because I have always both in uh, Portuguese 
super soft clay, super cool to use. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet to see all the new videos are coming up and it's going to be so much fun this, you know, the next couple weeks. Thanks so much and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye!